Hello and welcome to the old gold and black. If this is your first time watching or if you've watched a few videos but you haven't quite subscribed yet, then do click that button, the button that looks like that somewhere on this screen. Thank you very much for joining me. I've had a little bit of a week off. Uh, I've been to my best friend's wedding. I've been the best man at that wedding and I'll leave a little clip of my speech at the end of this video because of course I mentioned Wolverhampton Wanderers. So today's video is all about the game tomorrow against Leicester City, another massive game. Every game in the Premier League seems to be just an enormous event and a worldwide spectacle and playing against the champions from two years ago, it's a re and, but thinking about where Leicester are now, it's a really good opportunity for Wolves to test themselves and to, for us to judge where we're going to finish in the league this year. Leicester of course lost their first game of the season against Manchester United last Friday night so they'll be eager to bounce back from that with the result against us in their first home fixture of the season. It is, of course, Wolves' first away fixture, and according to Tim Spears from the Express and Star, he thinks that Wolves are going to perform better away from home this season. So it's going to be interesting to see what happens in the game and how Wolves set up, if they set up any differently to they do at home. I don't expect that they will, but we'll see uh, when the game starts tomorrow. In terms of the team for Wolves, I don't expect there to be any changes at all, despite some weaker performances from Willy Bolly, Connor Cody and Helder Costa really not performing to their full potential last week. I think Nuno will give them the benefit of the doubt after such a massive occasion last uh, Saturday against Everton. The full house, the nerves, the cameras, everything I think affected all of their performances. It'll be interesting to see if Dendonka starts or makes it onto the bench but personally I think he was signed to play in the right centre-back position and Ryan Bennett was probably the best defender of the lot on Saturday last week so it wouldn't surprise me if the back three stays the same and Dendonk has brought onto the bench. He also gives us that option in midfield as well if Xiao Moutinho tires near the end of the game it's another shoring up player that we can bring on in that centre midfield position. Traore as well has been in training all week whether or not he'll be deemed fit enough to be on the bench is yet to be seen. Find out, I suppose, when Nuno finishes his press conference, which will be any minute now. Ivan Cavaliero will not be taking any part in the game or any future games for about a month or so. He's been uh, given instructions to rest. He's got a bad back all through pre-season, which they've managed this time through pre-season, and now he's resting and trying to get that uh, injury sorted as quickly as possible. But that was something that we noticed last week was the lack of impact from the bench. Vinagre played well at left back. Morgan Gibbs White came on and did okay, and Bonatini as well did okay. But there wasn't that massive impact that we had last season with Cavaliero coming on. Traore could offer that as well. So hopefully tomorrow that'll be that'll be evident. Now there have been some really memorable games between Wolves and Leicester. I remember a 4-1 win in the FA Cup back in 2003. There was the 4-1 away win at, at uh, the King Power, where I think it was still the Walker Stadium then, uh, to guarantee a place in the playoffs back in 2007. But the one standout fixture from these two teams was back in 2003 in October. Wolves were 3-0 down at half-time but then came back to win the game 4-3 thanks to two goals from Colin Cameron, Alex Ray's header and Henri Kamara tapping it home to make it 4-3. Now that's a feat that has never been matched since. No team in the Premier League has won from being 3-0 down since that day. So that's quite, some, quite something special uh, for Wolves. Um, and hopefully we don't have a dramatic game like that tomorrow. But I do expect there to be goals. I think Leicester have got good firepower up front with Vardy and, and Damari Gray and James Madison who we saw playing for Norwich last season is really effective in that attacking midfield role so they, they're likely to cause our defence some trouble but I also think with the players that they've got in defence with Harry Maguire and Wes Morgan or Johnny Evans depending on what they choose I think we've got enough pace and enough danger to cause them problems at the back I think Wes Morgan's slowing down and he's limited as a defender. Harry Maguire sometimes leaves himself exposed when he goes on these ambling runs forward, sometimes loses the ball, puts his other defenders under pressure. So hopefully we can capitalise on that with our pace and power in attack. We saw it last week, Jagielka and Keane couldn't deal with the ball that was coming in between them and you had Jota and, or Costa converging on them and putting them under pressure and they didn't like it and in the end Jagielka of course getting the red card there which Get, got Wolves back in the game. Now, since the two teams last played in the Premier League in 2004, both teams have been relegated to League One. Both teams have won the Championship, and both teams now 
15 years later, 14 years later, are back in the Premier League together. And of course, Leicester winning the Premier League two years ago in, in a moment that sort of gave all fans of normal clubs a little bit of hope for the future of their clubs. And it's something now that could become a reality for Wolves fans with the money that we've got and the players that we've already got in the squad. It's something that could be, could be reality soon. But as I mentioned earlier on, this is a test for Wolves. The ambition for the club is to finish mid-table or higher, 7th, 8th sort of place. So this is a real test again to see how well we're going to compete this season. And it's going to be very interesting to see how we get on now in this game. We've got Manchester City next week at home. It's going to be an amazing atmosphere again, but we need to start picking up points and big points and a win at Leicester would be an unbelievable result I think um, we go into the game as slight underdogs I think but we've uh, with with a chance of winning let me know your thoughts in the comments section down below don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel and here's a little clip from my best man speech the other day what you must both ask yourselves is will I stick with you in your darkest hour will I be glad to see you even after all these years will I spend my free time at the weekend with you Will I still love you if you're taken over by a Chinese investment company and filled with beautiful Portuguese men? You must ask yourself, would I travel to Stevenage on a cold Tuesday night in February to see each other? If the answer to those questions is yes, then you know it's true love. For those of you who didn't understand the reference, that's because not my football team will have some wondering. <laughs> Over the last year, we've been led by a charismatic and passionate man, Nuno Espirito Santo, whose name literally translates as Holy Spirit. It's no wonder we've been able to perform miracles this year. Uh, at one point last year, Wolves were struggling, and after an impressive win over Leeds, I don't want to do that. <coughs> he offered these words of wisdom, which I would like to share with you now. He said, we, would like, we work every day for something that doesn't exist. Perfection. We want to grow and to keep getting better. And this is the advice that I offer you today. Today marks the start of your journey together. You will have some tough times, but together you will work with each other and meet your shared goals. And for the future. Here in the place!